Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mosley and today I want to give you a new series of videos. Um, so this new series is called Mosley Tries Masks. I know it's kind of hard to say. I pretty much won't be able to pronounce it pretty perfectly, but please do it that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, so basically what I'm going to do is I have this whole box of different masks that I don't want to try and um, Every time, it's, it won't be a review time for me, it's pretty much just a try-out kind of styles. Um, I'll get different kind of uh, masks from drugstore and maybe high-end. I pretty much won't be able to handle that much high-end. Um, don't expect to be like, all of them are like $50, $60. I say high-end, it's pretty much like $10. That's like my budget, my limit. I'm really broke. but. Yeah, back to that, and I just want to start it today because, you know, it's the final time. Everyone is like super, super stressed and tired, and I'm also stressed and tired. I have no time to take care of myself. I don't do makeup at all, and I do my skincare really terribly because I don't have time to do it, and I'm just stressed in general. And you can tell like my whole skin is like pretty dry right now, and I just feel like, oh, you know what? It's time to do a little mask. So today I'm gonna start uh, one of the masks I always want to try. Um, I got it from Walmart, which is the Maskology Intensive Matte Moisturizing Rubber um, Mask. So there it is. And the back looks like this. I got it in Walmart. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I would say under $5. Um, so it's not the cheapest one because um, for the other mask that I'm going to do later, um, like they have different type range, these are like cheaper and I got some from Taiwan and I hope they're good because I've never tried them and I also got some other stuff from different companies and also I got the good old L'Oreal. But you know, there's a lot of things to expect. So today I'm going to try this because it says intensive moisturizing and I was like, oh hell yeah, I need intensive moisturize. So here we go. Um, so this two part of it, I um, in the back it says this is the step one. And I'm just going to go in straight forward to see how it was. So on the instruction, it want me to wash my face to re remove any kind of makeup and environmental toxins. Well, I did that. So, and this says, open step one, cream pouch and massage into skin. And open step two is the rubber mask pouch. And gently unfold the two-piece rubber and place on your face, adjust eyes, nose, and mouth open. Okay. All right. And then you want it to hug my skin. And then gently remove and massage the skin. No need to rinse. All right. Good. So I think I get most of it. And... I'm just gonna gently pull my hair back. Also, I fixed my lighting a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. I tried to make my room a little bit lighter this time because when I was doing editing earlier, I feel like nobody can see my face properly. And if I do the brightness thing, it makes my face look kind of different. Like the skin tone and whatever, it looks kind of different. So I pretty much turn on all the lights that I have in the room and if you all still think this is kind of dark please let me know I'm like I don't know how to do this I'm still an amateur and trying to learn everything okay yeah, I'm trying to just tidy up the room a little bit now here we go T um, so step one I'm gonna open this you know what this is a bad design they shouldn't design this like that Ooh, hard to open. All right, there we go. It has a fragrance in it. It's not a bad fragrance, but it's definitely not one of those high-end fragrance. I don't know what it smells like. I can't tell, but if you're not into that kind of stuff, this is pretty much not the best option for you. If you have like really sensitive skin, you are not dealing with fragrance. This is something you don't want to deal with. I imagine. Um, yeah, but I'm not sensitive skin or whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, I have squeezed out 
basically every drop of the top and I have already massaged it into my skin as it says and I don't think they want it to be like totally dry so you can stick the rubber band on it rubber part on it and I'm just gonna lightly get off the thing on my hand so I can open up the second part okay okay I'm back I've cut it and okay let's see wow okay that's a lot of layers in it and I Ooh. Well, that's very bright color, and I think that thing is a little bit broken right up, right off the bat. But this is what we're dealing with, and I'm just gently unfolding it as the instruction says. Okay, what is this? I I don't know what I just get, but it's it's fine, and I still. Okay, good. I don't know what this small bit is, but I'm taking it off. Whew. Okay, my first thought, this is really cooling and I really like it. It's like cold. And I, f I really feel it and I really like it. But I feel like it's not as the instruction says that you can let it hug your skin. You see, like, I can't properly take it out. Like, the minute I take it out, it's like that. And this is like, what is this? Look at that. What is this? But. Okay, it's a little bit overlapping, but I, I think that's good. Okay, so I just finished the 20 minutes um, on the instruction. It says it want me to do 15 minutes to 30 minutes, but according to the moisture that I can feel from the package, so how much serum I can feel, I don't really feel like 30 minutes will be the good amount that I would write to use. Um, I feel like it's kind of dry by 30 minutes. Actually, by 15 minutes, I already feel kind of dry on my skin. It's not as moisturized. It's still very cooling. I can still feel very cool on my skin. Um, it's definitely cooling around this area, around my forehead, uh, about my lips, and on my chin. But um, small certain areas is not actually perfectly hugging on my skin. But I have to say it's better than a lot of those paper sheets or those cotton sheets that you got um, and then usually sometimes they can be uh, like a little bit too small or a little bit too big for this it this is like right around that the size that I want it to be but um, for these little small things so like these piece I think they're meant to for you to toss away but I happen to see I have this little gap in here and I feel like why not to cover it up so I just use this to cover them up and also a little bit get in here on my forehead I just use one of these um, for the texture of this rubber I have to say I um, really like this rubber but I feel like it's actually very I don't know like it's kind of fragile it's very soft it's like it's not like those uh, normal rubber that you expect it would be it's more like the hydrogel texture but it's not hydrogel 
and then you can actually see there's still like little cracks on here although I haven't actually do anything to it like you can if you can be able to see what is happening in here and like also these are like kind of broken like if you can see a little crack in here most of these stuff like I have I have not like tear it in any way but it's just turned into that it, but I feel like this is good enough for the period that is covering on your face and actually it, this is still very cooling so if you're like wake up in the morning you are like I can't get up I feel like this is one of the things um, if you put it on your skin you can wake up like right away so now I can't feel anything on my skin to be honest. I just felt very cooling and that's pretty much all I feel right now. I don't feel any kind of uh, like stickiness on my face. It just feels very cooling, very smooth and s like I don't, I won't say it's very very moisturized or soft in any way but it definitely makes me feel like, like I'm ready for the day if I'm going out or anything. So, um, for this mask, I'm going to give it 3 out of 5. It's not the best kind of mask I have ever dealt with. This is not the best kind of mask. I would be like, yes, I would repurchase it. Actually, I won't be able to repurchase it. The reason, first of all, is I don't feel like it's that moisturizing. It is moisturizing, but it's not the amount that I want. Um, I feel like this is the mask that you you can do it like on daily basis. It wouldn't do much to you. And secondly, I don't like how much serum it gets or how much balm it gives to me because I don't feel like it's enough. And, th and on the last, I feel like this mask, I, I don't like the fragrance. I just feel like the fragrance is really pulling me off. I, I feel like this is something that I don't want to deal with or like this is the kind of fragrance I do not like. But um, if you want to try it out, I would say still this is an interesting thing to try it out with your friend just to feel how it is. Or like I said, if you cannot get up in the morning, this is something you can try. Just slap it on your face and then you're ready. You can do your hair or whatever, or just like put on your clothes. Or, you know, make yourself a coffee, make yourself a tea. And then you take it off, it's ready for it. But I do not recommend you to do it for 30 minutes long. I actually recommend it to do... I would say around 15 minutes because at 15 minutes that's like where I need to check my watch I was like why does my face feel so dry and I checked it was like 1430 or something so yeah that's all the review I have for today thank you for watching my video and if you want to see more other masks that you want me to try out please leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and see you next time bye